Um, college was very expensive. So to get through in the summers, I took a job planting trees. And while I was out being swarmed by mosquitoes and black flies, and then when the bears broke into the cook tent and I'd worry at night if they were breaking into my tent, I thought, there's got to be a better way to make money in this industry. Fast forward two decades. Hi, I'm Alvar Carlson, founder of Agvantix Bioscience. In addition to being a WMU MBA student, I also have a PhD in plant breeding and plant genetics. I've won over a quarter million dollars in small business and investment research grants. I <clears throat> am an inventor on numerous patent applications and I have 10 years experience in the biotech startup industry. Uh, here's my pitch. Um, first, I'm going to define hybrid vigor for you. Uh, I have some friends that do research on hybrid vigor. They've been working on it for a couple of years. They probably cringe, but I'm going to boil it down to just one sentence. Hybrid vigor is when you take, in plants, when you take one inbred plant and you take another inbred plant and you cross them. The hybrid is going to outproduce any other type of plant cross you can do. It's going to have a higher yield. This is, the, this is the central thing behind the American corn industry. The late 1800s, the corn industry was growing all open pollinated varieties. Then hybrid vigor was developed, and by uh, 1950, they'd completely been replaced by all hybrid seed production. When you drive down the highway and you see those tall corn fields, those are all hybrid seed. What I want to do in my company is do the same thing for the forest industry, which is a $238 billion industry. So the forest industry cuts down 1.3 billion trees a year, and then they replant 1.3 billion trees a year, and they pay $100 million for that tree stock. But those trees aren't really improved. They're not much better than that which germinated right after the last ice age. Um, so why aren't they using hybrid vigor to produce hybrid trees? Well, you and I, we could make hybrid trees. We'd just go plant trees in our, back, in our backyard. It'd take 15 years to reproduce, seven generations, so we'd probably be dead by the time the hybrid seeds were produced, but we could do it. Um, that's why companies aren't doing Ag Agvantix Bioscience is, is working on a, uh, IP, on, a, thanks, on rootstock that would accelerate the germination, the, sorry, the maturation of a tree stem that was grafted to that rootstock to produce a uh, cross within a year. Thus, it's possible to produce the necessary crosses to generate hybrid seeds. Advantage Bioscience is looking for a $1 million A round. We'll stretch that out over three years to develop, evaluate, and patent our proof of concept, and then we'll go out and try to sell that for $10 million. If we cannot find someone to acquire us for that, we will search for a B round and a series of investors to fund the necessary crosses to generate, thank you, <laughs> sorry, to generate <clears throat> uh, about two million seedlings, which will sell for about one million dollars in their entry in the market. Uh, once people see how the hybrid trees perform, uh, we hope to dominate the one million dollar market, the hundred million dollar tree market for seedlings. When I was tree planting, I thought there has to be a better way to make money in this industry, and I think we found it. Thank you.